trapping, trapping, trapping in California. So we call it Trapophonia. Yeah, we back, man. Trapophonia. Trap shit, trap shit. You already know, man. Season two. We back. Hold on, hold on. Technical difficulties right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're trying to do something new here. We in the studio. You hear me? No, nothing. Yo, yo, yo. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? No, not me, not you, nothing. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Here we go. Whatever you're doing, keep going. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Yo, yo, yo. All right. Now we live. All right. Yeah. Now we back, man. Trap before you. Turn my mic up a little bit. Just so I can. I want to hear my little bass in my. (laughs) Y'all sounding real. There we go. Yo, yo. We good. We done. We on. We on. Hey, as y'all can see, man. You know what I'm saying? We doing some different shit. New spot. Different shit. Season two, man. Yeah. Hopefully we're going to, you know what I'm saying, keep this relationship going. And, you know yeah, what you mean? know what I'm saying? This is going to be the, the new look from here on out, man. 2020, new things, 2022. new dreams. You know what I'm saying? Beginnings. New beginnings. So I want to introduce the man right here, you know what I'm saying? The man that right, produced yeah. Hotel Suite from Nipsey Hussle. Smoking killer, Nipsey Hussle. Also, young niggas, Let's Nipsey go. Hussle. And Let's also, go. but not last but not least, Overtime, one of my favorites. Saying we got the man Rollo Styles in the building, man. Let's go. Hey, hey, man. It's an honor. How you doing, brother? Man, I'm blessed. Highly favored. Better than yeah. some, worse than others, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. The use. I'm saying thanks for you. I'm saying coming hollering at us, man. Yeah, so. definitely, definitely appreciate you for sliding through. You know what I'm saying? This a fire way to cap off the year. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to it. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man. So I mean, basically, you know, we want to start from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Tell us about the uh, the upbringing. Okay, uh, upbringing as far as like the how, how where, was, where, where was you bo- where were you born at? In I'm from Los Angeles, up? California, and uh, I'm a third generation Los Angelino. Mm. And uh, my family on my mom's side been in Los Angeles for over a hundred years. Mm. You feel Man, that's me? history. So we wanted them, them, them you know, forerunner. Black families of Los Angeles. So they don't see it at all. Your family doesn't see it at all. Civil servitude is our is our aptitude. You know, it's mm-hmm. like thirty teachers in my family. My mom was a, mm-hmm. she retired from education. LAUSD. She was a principal, hundred mm-hmm. second Street. Uh, Florence Griffith joined her elementary, where she right. retired from LAUSD. Mm-hmm. So you feel me? Then I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the one that I'm the black sheep. Mm. <laughs> I was like, I ain't going. Yeah. To, I ain't going yeah. to school. Yeah. All right, so I mean, uh, <laughs> coming up in LA, you know, it's 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 kind of, I, I guess you could say it's hard to kind of stay away from the gangs and and the culture around you. You know what I'm saying? Like, what was that like for you growing up in what area you came up in and uh, seeing the gangs around? What gangs were around your area and stuff like that? Okay, so, um, from like zero to well, I ain't gonna say zero because it was like three houses that I lived in primarily, like for my my adolescence. You know, I came off the porch. Um, I was in Inglewood, yeah. but I already been like around the Crenshaw Slauson area and the homies, the sick, the rolling sixties. Yeah. But I know niggas from Inglewood. I got cousins, like my whole family. All the bangers in my family is Bloods. Yeah. You feel me, from Compton yeah. or from Inglewood? And uh, so, for me to even have an affiliation or association with Crips, you know, that wasn't something that. Was in the, oh, in the yeah. you feel <laughs> yeah, me, major. per se. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How, just, did, how, how did you get introduced to that, you know, being around a, uh, having a predominantly blood Niggas family. is going to hit you up. Yeah. You know, that first That's time you on the bus yeah. by yourself, yeah. you been riding with your partner and he's sick, y'all 13, 14, you feel me? Yeah. And some niggas get on the bus at Market Street, hey, blood, where you from? Right. Yep. You yeah. know, like, you know like it, it, it's the classic, you know, so you're going to get, you're gonna get a a deep in, you know what I'm saying, experience in it and how you deal with it is gonna be that's gonna be your story from there. So Right. Oh, but I you know, I never banged my nigga. I, I, I wanted to bang. Yeah. Niggas knew that I <laughs> was just I done been behind the building, I done squabbled homies and yeah, yeah. I done been shot at, you yeah. know, I done been through all of the gang shit, right? Yeah. But that ain't really where my heart was at and niggas could feel that. And I had already right, been on right. some nerd music shit. Yeah. Niggas like, man, that's probably go go do your shit. So yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. blessed to be able to have been. I feel like myself. I feel like 
a lot of the uh, a lot of the real homies they kind of was on that wave. Like if, if you seen if you seen a nigga that was good at ball or somebody that was good at music, be like, yo man, leave, leave homie alone. Like he on that. Like they didn't seen what it what it could do potentially right. to your to your, your talent. Yeah. It could be wasted right. if you catch a yeah. case or whatever. So, so, uh, yeah. so my question is, uh, what made you get into like? Making beats, producing music for people, and uh, who also like with inspirations. So my inspirations, early on, I'm gonna say like, like uh, KRS One. He probably was like my first. Wow. You know the BDP hey, posse. That's and all that. different. I would have expected that. I know, cause see, like my mom, like I told you, she was an educator, so she used to curate my hip hop. Okay. Like I could listen to Scar X. Yeah. I could listen to Boogie Down Productions, but. I could listen to All in the Same Gang. So when they when Dangerous Records put out the uh, you know, the the All in the Same Gang with Miss Chalet and like I had those tapes, you know what I'm saying? So anything that was positive, it could be hip hop, it just had to have a positive message, you know. I didn't really like see like the resonance that pop music had with our culture until I came off the porch like all the way. I didn't get it at first, you know what I'm saying? I was a a, a hip hop head. You feel yeah, me, like yeah, quintessential yeah. Nas and right. Jay Z yeah. hip hop type lyrics. shit. Right. Yeah, hell yeah, that's how it But yeah, man. So those are my early influences as far as producers. I would say Pharrell and Timberland. Yeah, okay. You know them two. You know, I really like what they were doing, and it really was like something that triggered my, you know, my production. You uh-huh. remember? Um, you remember the first beat you made? I was about to ask for that too. I, I remember the first beat I sold. Right. Right. Okay. Feel me? Um, I can't remember the first beat I made mm-hmm. per se, but I know that we had like my dad was a he was he's a pianist mm-hmm. and he was in a band and you know my whole early life pops was on the road and I would be in the studio so I was immersed in the culture. Okay. But, so, uh, so do you remember do you remember if your first beat was uh trash or do you, do you feel like you might have had it? Might have been something. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I mean, shit. I don't make no trash beats. Hey, 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 I feel it. Talk that shit. It. Let's go. <laughs> All fire, I fire, it too. fire beats from the jump. I believe it too. Fire beats from hey, the jump. But, you know, if I did ever make a trash beat, I would see the value in it that I would never ever do that again. Right, right, right. right. To anybody right. aspiring, you gonna make mistakes, keep going, you feel me? But Hell yeah. yeah, the first beat I sold, it was like I snuck on the keyboard because my dad had bought a Cork Trinity. Mm-hmm. He's like the music director at our church, uh, youth choir, he's doing all that. So he had this sequencer in the house. I started touching it and listening to the sounds. Yeah. And I was getting into Khalees' album mm-hmm. and it was produced by the Neptunes. Right. And them sounds oh. was on that keyboard. Already, yeah. That same snare, that same yeah. little whatever little Casaba, whatever, you know what I'm saying? The hi-hat, it was identical. That's I'm fire. like, wow, they must be using this. So that's, that's what triggered, like, oh, I could do it, you feel me? Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, hey man, we all had a keyboard. I didn't, I didn't maximize my shit with keyboard. <laughs> yeah, neither, I, everybody, everybody had that little keyboard. The right? Hey, I sold yeah, my shit for like $40 and bought yeah. some weed, my nigga. Yeah. I didn't maximize my keyboard. <laughs> yeah. nigga. Hey, them keyboards, is, they gems now, though. If you oh, yeah. Get into the production. Yeah. Facts. Oh, yeah. Facts. I love what I would have do. <laughs> yeah, cause yeah. it's all sterile. This digital shit, niggas need to go back to the yeah, nah, essence. Yeah. I've been, I low, key, I low key been seeing like, um, like shit like vinyls facts. and shit. Like they been selling, like they got new little shit to play them now and all type of shit. Like, yeah. shit is vinyls, up, like it's the vibrational yeah. energy that comes off a record. Uh, it's yeah. actually vibrating yeah. uh, to to play. Yeah, so it's a stronger. Energy and, yeah. and, and you know what I'm saying. Right, right the, the conjure is stronger. You know what I'm saying. Right. Man, that's yeah. real shit. Man, feel yeah, man. So obviously, you know, uh, we named about six, seven Nip tracks in the beginning, man. Uh, <laughs> what was the um, like, what was it like early days with Nip, man? Uh, you know, doing music and having him in the studio. It was like what I probably would have been in, you know, enduring in the lab in a college. Mm. You know, it was very studious. Oh, His presence, he makes you want to be a better person. He's one of them niggas like, let me do some push-ups real quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it always feel like he's going to be like, bro, you did your homework? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, this is yeah. my little bro, but it's like, what are you, why do you resonate like that? But yeah. he was always a thinker. And like, you feel me? You had to just go to his level or you wasn't going to feel right around him, you know? We need more people like that in the world. Yeah, so definitely. Man. As far as um, production, do you have any moments uh, 
we nip in the studio where you know maybe you play the beat and it was just like instantly it was like yo this going this is what we finna rap about this is what it is and um, oh yeah a lot of that yeah. I'm a nigga that heard all them songs first right. <sighs> Right. I'm, I, 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 I was off the pack first before we while we was distributing. Yeah, you feel me? I was already getting high on our own supply, and I <laughs> I got a knack for it. when if niggas send me beats, I know if that beat is gone. I'm getting goosebumps right now. Mm -hmm. Like Mike Free, it was a moment where you know Mustard had a conglomerate of production. Yeah. I'm not going you know dime him out, but you know he had some help, mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't understand the process and his his protocol. Mike Free reached out to me. Yeah. I'm like, I got some beats from this nigga and they fire. Mm -hmm. I listened to him, one of them is, uh, look at my ride, look at yeah. my look at my car, look at my mm -hmm. girl, look like a star. Nigga, when I heard the beat, I knew the song yeah. before Nip even heard it. <laughs> Type shit, Damn. no cap. Yeah, and that ain't fire. even my shit, so yeah. with the songs that I produced, it would be like a humility, cause he's a picky nigga with the beats too. So you'll make a lot of beats, but mm -hmm. I noticed that the beats that he inspired were the songs that people love the most. That's so if he was like, Rollo, let's do a song, sound like Saturday morning, you know, mom's making this clean up, we about to go to Fedco and La Cienega. Let's go, he, let's go, man. He like, my mom had a Buick Skylocker. I'm like, my mom had a Buick Somerset, what color? He like, gray. I'm like, my, my shit was gray, that's down yeah, there, yeah. same wow, car. Fire. I'm like, what was your mom listening to, nigga? Right. This a conversation for real. Right. While we was like finishing up Marathon, he's like, she would be listening to like Vanessa Williams or something. <laughs> like I go on YouTube, Vanessa Williams, dreaming pops up. Come on, man. Don't come for me, y'all. Come on, man. Hey, <laughs> hey, come on, man. hey come on, for man. real, man. I made that beat in like six or seven minutes, my nigga, yeah, no cap. That's my favorite beat for me. Man. Yeah, he was like, it's bro. done, don't do no more. Yeah. So it would be better when I did that type of yeah. production for him. Yeah. But there was shit that I made that was sitting up and he he would hear it. And I would let BH hear, like I let BH hear what I had for dedication, okay. you know. And then he was like, I play this. I was, I yeah. didn't, I'm like, it sound too much like mustard. Uh, I didn't want to play it for him. He's like, nigga, you tripping, bro, right. what the fuck? And then with the record growth to, you know, after everybody do that shit, it's like, you know. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, we might have to edit that out. I got to look at my NDA. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> Stop. Nah, that's dope. Yeah, nah, yeah. like, on the real, man, like, my personal shit, like, on the outside looking in, I felt like Nip really got real, like, like historic and just got in his bag, like, on the beats, bro, like. As far as beats, as, as far, as, far like, as like just being a general on the hip hop format, yeah, yeah. I feel like he was a general for our people more sure. than the yeah, artists. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. oh man. And it was like certain things that would be, I know that I'm not gonna ask this nigga about a feature, mm. like cause he didn't want to lean on an artist to be his, like you don't want to be charted for the first time. Yeah. Like we in a viral moment where mixtapes make you hot. You might only have like 50,000 people with you on Twitter and Instagram. I you put out a mixtape, that 50,000 people is your tribe. Yeah, sure. That's the beehive for, uh, you know, Beyonce or whatever the fuck. That's the, uh, mm -hmm. the Barbies for, uh, you know, yeah. type yeah. shit. Yeah. Exactly. So, but that ain't platinum though. Mm -hmm. So now if I had to go and get Chris Brown to be platinum, that means when I come to the, to the stage again, to the mainstream stage, mm -hmm. y'all need me associated with that vibration for my initiation. Yes. Nipsey was, he was very, uh, what's the word? Stern. Mm -hmm. Like, nigga, we're not leaning on, we're not importing no materials to make our, our marathon goods, you know what I'm saying, yeah. type mm -hmm. shit. Yeah. That's the integrity of the brand, type yeah. shit, yeah. you feel me? Right. So yeah, it was definitely, it was like a curve of learning that I wouldn't have been exp exposed to just Sending right, niggas beat packs and shit like that. Right, right, right. <laughs> so ain't no beat yeah, pack shit. Right. <laughs> Straight up, yeah. niggas. Is, I'm super lucky and blessed. You know, like it's an honor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. So, yeah, I didn't go lie, man. It's an honor. You know what I'm saying? Having you in the building right now, bro. Yeah, that was a fact. Man, I'm just the man, man, bro. Hey, yeah. look, we that <laughs> that whole that whole marathon type, bro. I'm telling you, I was thugging it right. like in the car. <sighs> Nigga, nowhere to go type shit, just man. thugging it. Man, nigga in high school, man. like, like, like that tape like, got me yeah. through type shit, through mailbox depression and all type of shit, bro. Through. Like, for mailbox. real, for real. Yeah, mailbox went real long. Y'all not the first, I mean, it, to hear a nigga say that, bro, it's like, it's a little scary, I ain't gonna lie. 
Cause it's like you know that you didn't intend. Like we, I just wanted to make music and everybody to hear it. That was my yeah. wish. Yeah. Nipsey was always on some enterprise. Him and Black Sam are the smartest niggas, yeah. most organized. Like it's a lot of smart niggas, but when it comes to like putting the shit together with the way that you said it. You taking hot air to motherfucking material. These right, two niggas right, right. are supernaturally. I always want to have a conversation with Sam, man. Uh, always. Well, always. Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> Look, oh, uh, man. That nigga is the hardest working nigga alive. Man. Period. I believe man. it. Period. Me and Nip used to like to sneak off to Vegas and shit. And Black Sam be on this. What the fuck are you? You know, he's a no sugar, no butter uh mm -hmm. pound cake right. like my nigga got he's he's organized bro so niggas definitely seasoned by that level of discipline you know that would make an impact on our productions and how we would treat our studio it wouldn't be like a regular studio yeah. per se because on the surface we got to deal with this level of structure which is in turn what gives a nigga like you saying like bro i was able to get because you needed something it's solid, something yeah, stable. Yeah, yeah. Facts. Facts. Sure, dog. Facts. And, uh, it's an honor to have been, you know, a vessel in that, my nigga. I can't even take no, yeah. no glory in that. Like, yeah. nigga, is super lucky and blessed. Hell yeah. Facts. 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 How'd you feel uh, <laughs> when the uh, when the album finally came out, man? Like, cause Nip was working hard for that album, bro. Like he was. Pushing like he kept pushing it back. Yeah. We was waiting on like when it finally dropped off. I feel like the city just stopped for a minute. It was like, yo, we got everybody gonna get to that L.A. when that shit like, dropped. Boy, the, I was out there. That's the best rap album of all time. All time, come on. And I ain't just saying that. Yeah, nah. If you really watch the movie of what rap is, bro, what that nigga went through actually was a real occurrence. He's not capping. It's not rap cap. It was like luck and bless at the same time. Mm -hmm. Opportunity and preparation. Like niggas was hip hop heads at a moment when our city was going to be able to have the platform again. Right. Cause nigga, we didn't have yeah. we didn't have an ear for like ten years. Death Row. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Nigga, it was like everything. It was our culture had become cliche to the point where we didn't want to embrace low riders and. Uh, took over and, yeah, yep. the bounce had to come get in our drums and the synthesizer, you know, all that shit. So, but we had church music and right, soul right, right, singing. Right. I feel yeah. like uh, California always been California, though. Like, I feel like uh, East, <laughs> we're island, the East, the East kind of performed a little bit, we island performed just, to the sound, and the East kind of sound like the South now, a little even bit, the but Bay the West is a different little twang than us. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. You can definitely yeah, tell you feel me. Detroit you feel me? Mm -hmm. It's all one thing too, though. Yeah, man. So, um, you know, it's 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 gonna be a lot of people that want to produce and shit. That's you know gonna watch this video. Um, any advice for any young up and coming producers, even young up and coming rappers and stuff like that? Any advice for the people up and coming? Be honest. Just be yourself. It's gonna work. That's a. Hey. I feel like that's the main. I feel like everybody, everybody's on the same way. Like everybody rapping about the same thing. Everybody like it can't be. Y'all all can't be living this life, bro. Like everybody can't. You know what I'm saying? That's what Nev used to say. He's like, "Where's the Buster rappers at? <laughs> How come it ain't a nigga that's talking about turning down fades and? Bro, I don't think we should go get the good. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't have that. There's no narrative for a nigga to, to, to." Uh, to survive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. There is no there, man. Mm. You know? Because yeah, right. even with the way we want our music, we don't even want to even hear you if you're not like that anyway. Kind That's of. A fact. That's a how, fact. How can we never talk about that? Yeah, why does that? What is that? Okay. And then why is it illegal to be that way? Yeah. Right. Yeah. What, right. if it, what, what if it serves us right? Actually, what it serves is bad. It's just fact. practical shit. We gotta go in like try to just make some money. And then, I mean, you can't. We can't place all the blame on the rapper. Also, it's, people are buying these albums. You know no, but saying? but we don't have nothing but this shit. That's a fact. Yeah. Remember what this shit sounded like when you was a kid? Oh, uh, like come on, man. Bro, with the headphones on on the bus, man. Bro, Walk, man. Stop playing with me. Y'all know about that. 
The walk nigga with the, the disc man, yeah, I had all that, that shit. For real. Shit skipping because skip I'm walking. <laughs> you had to get the you auto skip what? jump. Right. Take some pep out your step. Man, mm -hmm. I don't know about then that. Then they made the shock little, uh, the shock mount. It wasn't shock mount, yeah, but it like it buffered. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. now it wouldn't skip even when you right. walk. <laughs> Cause nigga had a CD player in his pocket. Man, like, come on, bro, that's the most sensitive. Man, that's it. We did that. We we had both both worlds too. Our generation, yeah. sure. niggas slap TVs and use pliers to turn channels and mm -hmm. you antennas know, and shit. Foil. Yeah, but then we got no shit about that. Shit. My kids sound like Flintstones. <laughs> what? They don't even watch TV. Uh, my kids be in the house, they be on their phone. They want to project their phone onto the TV. That's the only time they be on. That's how my kids do YouTube yeah. and shit. YouTube. All Streaming. Yeah. But for us in the ghetto, the music is the only thing that we have. Yeah. And basketball and in sports ain't really like a lifestyle like that. Like what I'm going to do, wear track shorts to, to school. Like you wear your jersey on game day. Like that ain't nothing. Yeah. It's like hip hop. This is nah. Tim's jeans, nigga, khaki yeah. suits. Yep. You know, it's like our survival. Oh yeah, it is. So niggas got to really. It's not pressure on the rappers. Like, why do you think you should be even talking? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you gonna do for us? Yeah. So that's why. I bring substance. Help us. You gotta be a balance. Bro, I had COVID. Like black people don't say shit like that. Right. I had it for four weeks. I didn't post no pictures and all that. I was by myself for like three weeks. Yeah. That shit is a decision you gotta make to be alive. Like I wanna, I still gotta be here. Yeah. Right. So if you're gonna right. pick up an instrument, then let's give it a let's give it a real go. You feel me? Like don't just be up here trying to be seen. Say something. Right. Wow. You know that's what I'm saying to the kids. If you wanted to produce or rap, please go be a doctor and a lawyer, or you know what I'm saying. Also. Some learn time, yeah. Man, heal us. Yeah. Help. <laughs> it's not serving this thing. Man. What are we doing? That's right. But you know, I ain't got no answers, bro. I'm just yeah, man. experimenting. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I, don't think nobody, I don't think nobody really got the answer. You know what I'm saying? But we could we could kind of help this uh, younger generation. You know what I'm saying? We could try what to music help. Helped, what music helped you besides the marathon? In that time period that you just were speaking of, I ain't gonna lie, that's what I just had on repeat. <laughs> bro, you're not the only nigga that told me that. I don't have brought niggas with tears in their eyes, like bro, I was on life support and they was playing. Yeah, it, like you yeah. feel me, like waiting up in the car, we in yeah. the bulletproof. You feel me, uh, Beamer, and a nigga is right here leaning on the window, showing us his wound, talking yeah. about being. And bro, for me, I had both my parents. I went to church. Uh, I know all the niggas, but I can't even. My mom like, bro, come. We moved off the block. One of my older homies. My mom moved me to Inglewood. Mm -hmm. I still fuck with the homie, but you feel me? Like, yeah, yeah. my life probably with it. I don't know. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. You know, yeah, type I, shit. That's what. That's yeah. this life is. Our life is so delicate, being from where we're from. Right. Yeah. That's true. And that's that's where that. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like where you say substance. That's where that come in at because. I'm not even, I wasn't out here like coming up. I, I got grown and came back out here, you know what I'm saying? So I was mm. in Texas. Uh, I was in Texas bumping it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm, hey, Texas, I'm, fuck with us. Bruh, bruh, I, was, I, love, bruh, I ain't gonna I lie. I came, I came out to Dago introducing go long. people to You know to I did go long. Oh, yeah. I came to Dago introducing people to Nip. Come like, on. Yo, y'all ain't no. Dago bro, fucks right with Nip. right down the street from y'all. Like, yeah. 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 Dago man. fucks yeah. with Nip. Facts. Dago, Houston, Seattle. From what I saw, they like, they coming. Y'all got Habesha community out here too. Yeah. Now I noticed that it's Habesha communities everywhere in the country. Yeah, like, and when I would get to on yeah. tour, we I would notice it would always be like, you feel me? Yeah. So we was. I feel like we got more love in the rest of the country than we did in California, low key. Man. That's how yeah. I go though. Yeah. I think that's how I go with a lot of the a lot of our stars. You know what I'm saying? You get more love when it shouldn't be like that. What's the difference between me and you? What's the difference between me and you? Like, that's how we feel. So we gotta, we just gotta examine that. Like, why do you gotta assess why this nigga shouldn't have what he has? Yeah, right. Who the fuck are we, bro? We be playing God too much. Yeah. We're not giving him the glory. We're not letting him work in our lives. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. type yeah. stuff. You know, so that's what I be on, man. Just let's, we just gotta address it. Mm-hmm. You know? Definitely. Kind of we make more music like that. Let's see how it works out for our future kids, you know? Because, bro, this is all we got. It ain't just music. We not just, you know what I'm saying? Niggas got single parent homes. Some of us came home, no one was home. Yeah. We cook, help our sister with homework. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You doing uh, your mom's laundry because she's at her second job or my mom was at school. Yeah, you feel me? My dad had to work like, nigga, niggas didn't have no silver spoon. Right. But mm-hmm. it's a difference in our homes too that makes our culture uh, polarized. You know, we just gotta find our middle ground. Right. You know what I'm saying with that? Right. Yeah, man. I, I don't know shit, though, bro. I'm just yeah, yeah. playing it by ear. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Good. Yeah, playing yeah. Hey, but on some, on, some, on some other shit, man. How you feeling about these uh, L.A. politics, man? And also, like, what do you think about what the mayor said? It was um, the uh, police chief. Police chief, oh my, my bad. God. Police chief told me so. I can't, I can't let myself. Her city. I want to say so much, <laughs> but I can't let myself. But I'm going to say this, 2028, what is that? We're going to the Olympics, I think. Mm. Right. Okay. It's big games, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's the global, it's global, you know what I'm saying? So, shit, niggas got to find something to do. Niggas get an excavator, right. start digging out these lines that they're going to build, these train systems. <laughs> 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 man, y'all know me. Shit. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, man. From the uh, from the outside looking in, man, it's, the streets is looking kind of crazy, man. We seeing all the um, like people like Drake El passing, uh, people like uh, Slim Four Hundred. You know what I'm saying? It's like these is like public things that's happening. They happening like. Back to back, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it's scary as fuck. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 like, it's and then really with, scary. With, the, with the police chief putting that message out there and it's seeming like. What does that mean? Yeah. Right. Scary, bro. Right. I don't like that and I'm scared. I, I want to I wanna feel like we don't just lose our celebrities, but mm-hmm. that's tenfold territory if I yeah. start to quantify. It's mm-hmm. a fact. It's like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, you know what I mean? But. We just gotta be careful. You feel me? I gotta stay dangerous out here, man. We gotta. You gotta stay it's dangerous. Tall, man. Yeah. Hell yeah, that's a fact. So, um, got any like projects coming up or any any like music yeah. or some stuff you got working on? And um, what am I working on? Cousy Capone. Okay. I'm working with Cousy okay. Capone. Yeah, okay. good looking, bro. I'm working with uh, We Dog. They, you know, they do the Crack Babies thing. Yeah, okay. So I do, I'm doing hooks and beats with them. Okay. Then I got this young kid from Washington. He's like pop. Oh. Yeah, he's got okay. a dope story too, man. He's, okay. he's, he's got a refreshing voice. Okay. It's All like right. singing rap type shit. Okay. But uh, yeah, man, I just been trying to make some shit for that. I don't feel embarrassed when my kids is in the room. I want to be able to play my music. Yeah, yeah, That's gotcha. deep right there. Gotcha. Cause I, I get embarrassed sometimes. I'll be like, man, did I say that? But I meant that when I said it. Right. right. Oh right. yeah. <laughs> nah, but so, then, hey, does I'll, it resonate when? You, I'll be feeling the same way. It's kind of crazy, yeah, bro. Yeah, when you're a parent, you gotta assess that. Like. Yeah. That's, That's a fact. Man. That's a fact. I be doing the same shit. I go back on some tracks and be like, damn, my kids, man. I'm, I do want her to suck it up and spit it out and all this, but I, ain't, I don't even want my kids to hear that part right, right there. Right, right. Hey, let's go back to Drake, Drake Yo, okay. and Slim. Right. Okay. What happened? Because I haven't even been, I, I ain't even been in California, bro. I've been watching the news and it seemed like the, every day on the news in LA in general it just seems like every headline that's, is just that's just the stars atrocious. yeah that's just the no, stars but it wasn't just stars it's like a v- aggressive style of mm, burglary and like, like you know I, mm. you know it's like it's not I don't know did we defund the police I don't know that's what it seemed like or maybe uh, we shouldn't have done that <laughs> <laughs> that's probably niggas always hollering fuck the police but they do a job that we don't want to do 
That's that part. Right. Every yeah. time somebody does something wrong to you, do you go and enforce the the, the law in your hands, or do you call the police? Or do you right. allow karma? Like, there's all type of things that take place. Right. If you're a spiritual person, then sometimes you take it on the chin. Your right, ego right. is bruised. I'm more, I'm more on that. Yeah, like I, it depends. Yeah, sometimes yeah, we got yeah. situations where yeah, violence yeah. might be necessary. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. yeah. But then also it's like, how do I want? I mean, I just want to be a better version of myself. Right. So definitely type shit. We gotta make better choices, man. Yeah, yeah man. It's, uh, but what what is it? What is it? A connection to them too? Nah, nah I don't connection. It's just Actually, two different. Uh, that shit happened yeah. fast though. It was like, yeah. like within two weeks. Video, within two weeks. That, I thought they said yeah. something about that was like his. He was at his baby mama house with Slim. Some, it was something. He nah, just yeah. basically. Yeah. It just called Slim. Yeah, he was at. He was at yeah. somebody's yeah. house that just. Yeah. And then somebody, was somebody, somebody ran up and just shot him. So it's yeah, isolated situations. Up, Those yeah. is two isolated. The other situation is Draco. Yeah. Uh, he was it's in tour with another group. Whatever. So it's yeah. isolated. Yeah. But the fact that it happened so fast, yeah, for sure. nah, for real, it hurts. Yeah, man. We just got we we are in danger. But it's 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 more than a lot of people need to realize too. It's more than uh, Draco and uh, Snowfall Honey. Like, yeah, right? every day you homies see and different right? rappers people getting killed. Yeah. Like, Bro, that shit is not people who don't rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. People who don't like people is in. It the seems like yeah, black celebrities like have been uh, it's been on. Right. Yeah, it's like a target, right. bro. It does feel target. like, but I can't say that because I don't want the target on me. Right. Yeah, I hear you. Nah, so I'm going to be like, hey, listen, bro. Right. Well, I just want to be way, uh, resonating yeah, on the vibration with, like, Eric Benet mm. or something. Yeah. Because, nigga, I want to walk out, and I don't want people in my crowd, if I produce music, to have malice or have their ego in that. This music supposed to heal you or make you feel some way that it's like... Yeah, right. So like I just want to feel like that, but without compromising who I am. Like how do we do right. that? Yeah. You know, yeah. by doing it. Right, but yeah. I mean, but it's I mean, easier to say it there, yeah, but exactly, yeah, right. exactly, because it's like we could focus on the bad, or we could be the the light. Solution. Yeah, just yeah. Do yeah. It. it's hard for people to be the light because of situations. It's so like dimming. It's a little four hundred, and it yeah. like dip and shit. Like it's it's like we doing shit for our community and all. we're making yeah. shit but you're still like it don't make sense that's what I'm saying like yeah. after shit like I ain't gonna lie when that is gonna refine people right. who aren't gonna be willing to die for what they stand for are not going to take the platform right. perhaps yeah. Yeah. because right. if you needed to be here saying it then you already accepted the fact that yeah, that you target may be there yeah. yeah that's a fact truth hurts fact. the truth is it's damning so opening your mouth in itself is an is an it's an invite right. yeah. to people paying attention to you. It's not always a good thing. Yeah. But yeah, man, we gotta pray for our cities. You know, yeah, pray for yeah. hip hop. It's crazy everywhere. People just running cars oh, in the Dallas Christmas right gatherings. Now, so. Yeah. Uh, just uh, active shooters. Yeah. You know, it's ever all type killed, of war games. Ever since they killed Mo Three, man, Dallas been up. up what you mean? Like, Always been going down out there. Yeah. Same thing with I'm Dolph. Getting a call every day. Oh yeah, like, I believe I'm it. Getting calls every day, bro. R. So R. P. The homie Big Will, man. R. P. The homie Big Will. Like this shit. Well, but calls every are these day, niggas bro. dying? Are they rich? <laughs> what do we have that the niggas won't? What is it that a nigga won't? So yeah. it's like, bro, with none of you, bro, you just, we all trying to just make it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, like bro, you, We faking it to make it. You know what I'm saying? And then dying for it, that's, uh, that's a terrible thing, my nigga. Is it worth it? Yeah, that's what I'll be saying. Exactly what I'll be saying. I'll be thinking about gospel music a lot. <laughs> I'm like, man, nah, go do a gospel too. album. Yeah. Man. But then you got to go where the people is at. Right. If you doing if you doing it for the people, you make music for the people. So it's a catch twenty two, man. That's true. That part. How much true. time we got? We good on time? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we, we pretty much on like the last question anyway. Okay. Okay. So I wanted to, I wanted to ask you about your audio book. Okay. Uh, what made you want to start one? Pretty much. I don't. You know, really, I was gonna do a book. Oh, okay. Okay. But I'm doing it because I don't got the discipline to write down my idea, like manuscript. I'm not about to do break my hand. Oh yeah, hell all yeah. these ideas. So I'm just talking, 
situations and stories that I have liberty to speak on. Because yeah. I had a view of like some shit that, you know, niggas didn't have. Or I was yeah. at a point where it wasn't popular to be with Nip or art music and style of music or whatever. Like, nobody was listening to hip hop on the West Coast, like, mm. per se. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. When there wasn't no boom bap in our sound. Yeah. We introduced some boom bap to our sound, like that type of shit. So yeah. I'm just talking them type of stories, and you know I'm gonna get somebody to like compile it, probably do it a, a book, cause niggas don't read. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know Go what? Hide everything. You know what? That's that's a fire idea. That I'm. <laughs> hey, look, look. I'm actually hey, surprised yo. that. A lot of rappers ain't hopped on that. Like, it's this same. is what you do, bro. You go in the booth and you talk your story. Why not actually they have tell apps. your story? They have apps right now where you guys could be on the platform letting people view this podcast as you shoot it. Right. And they'll pay you just to be under your tutelage and, like, learn what you do. It's beauticians that do here. They just put the camera up and people are tuned in. That, like we could go on YouTube, learn how to change oil. Like you feel me? Oh yeah, it's definitely. It's oh, yeah. a platform, so it's just what you doing with it. Yeah, yeah. You know, we don't all gotta be a rapper. We could be, somebody gotta be a lawyer. Niggas, yeah. know, everybody shooting. Man, <laughs> somebody. Need somebody, 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 somebody right. to get me off when I pop this nigga. Like, yeah, like you gotta get somebody to squeeze you out the situation. Right. So it's gonna be the more longevity in that gig, you know. That's a fact. That's a fact. Hell yeah. We got yeah, man, what's well, shit? Is there anything else you wanna say? Let the people know as far as like say, any. Find you on social media. Where they can, yeah. yeah, man. Any social promo? <laughs> any any promo? Anything, uh, man? You wanna? Yeah. Anything coming at out? At Rallo, R A L O underscore S T Y L E Z. That's Instagram. Yes, sir. I don't really fuck around on TikTok yet. I gotta. I, I know. Putting yeah, a little two right, step right, to my right. beats. I ain't made it there yet, yeah. either, man. But I'm the kids. No, man. It's, 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 yeah, that's their YouTube. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. It's, right. just, it's just quick little reels that people love. Man. Attention spans. We gotta get. We gotta make it. Like, bro, songs used to be three minutes and thirty seconds. We start making them two minutes. Two minutes. And, yep. Some change. That's uh. crazy. That's hey. That, hey Can that's the, the way. Keep your attention for two verses right now. Man, In the video, man. like I don't want to see all that, bro. Just make it one minute. 40 seconds to just right. different outfits, locations. Let's go. Right. Mm. TikTok. <laughs> I love it. Right. Okay. Like Pushing the envelope, right. my nigga. You feel me? Right. But yeah, man, it's been a pleasure, you guys. Yeah, I'm, definitely, I'm, yeah. I'm honored, Appreciate my nigga. Y'all niggas you, know. Man. Yeah, honor for you coming through, man. Thank you. I'm about to get up out of here, smoke some more, sip some more, enjoy hey, the look, Saturday. Man, look, man, trap of fucking for you, man. We building. back, man. Go. We back. Back with it, back with it man. Rollo Styles in the building came with us, man. Let's go. Yeah, it, man. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. hey, hold on. Before we do get up out of here, though, man, I do want to update the people, man. Trap Studio Show is coming back. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? Season Let's two. Go. Any up and coming artists, hit us up. Give yep. us your videos. Trap Studios. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Trap Studio. We got Trap soon, Studios. Man. We coming back. Season yeah. two. Season two. We'll be Bring back. The videos. Man, okay. Everything. We kicking man. it off. I'm, I'm we out not. here in Dream Radio, man. Yeah, like, we out here. Right. Right. Yeah. Radio in the building. Shout out to those who let us entertain the music. Let's get it. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Facts, facts. And one more thing, man. We got right up here, man, at the Ugly Dog, man, March 5th. Trapofornia, man. You know what I'm saying? Hip Hop is Real presents Trapofornia, man. We got the man Danny Myers. Let's go. Okay. Versus okay, Lil Slap, slap man. The star, slap, bro. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah. Let's Battle go. rap <laughs> shit. Battle yeah. rap yeah. shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. Daylight, you know, we'll be in the building. We got Daylight yep. hosting. Yeah, you know yep. uh, also, Gigi Gotti will be in the building. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Y'all pull up, man. Come enjoy your time. Rap. I can't rap like them niggas, though. Man, that's, that's, that's yeah. crazy. I love battle rap. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. You already know, man. Trouble for your shit. We out here, man. Gang. Shit ain't easy, I just make it look effortless Call my dogs and you know they gon' step on shit Devilish, fucking with your intelligence Eliminate the ops until they irrelevant We don't just want the smoke, we inhaling it Trapping, trapping, trapping in California So we call it Trapophonia